I know a lot of recons out there who recently took a little bit of offence to the change of the Marksman bonus in Battlefield 4. Right now, this is only active in the CTE, but if Dice LA do decide to go through with it, it'll be in the Autumn patch of Battlefield 4. For those who don't know what the Marksman bonus is, it's the points applied when you headshot somebody with a sniper rifle, and the number of points is the distance the headshot was. This made sniping at long range a lucrative playstyle, as you could gain a lot of points just by taking a few players down. Dice LA decided, as part of their team play initiative, to nerf this system heavily and only give players scoring marksman headshots 25 points, instead of the normal distance dictated value. The rest stayed the same, you still get your 100 points for the kill and so on, but now an extremely efficient way of gaining XP has been removed from the game, and nothing has been put in its place to offer players a chance to recoup the lost XP points either. My stance is this. I think it's great that Dice LA are trying to pull the camping snipers off of the hills and the edges of the map and down into the battle, where they could be playing a much more meaningful role in their squad and team. What I don't like is that they've really not offered recon players any incentive to actually come down away from the hills. Yes, they've removed the marksman bonus, but people are still going to want to snipe. There's nothing down there except the threat of being shot by some guy using an Ace-23 straight in the back because they haven't equipped a gun that's fit for the environment. The devs have tried to do something constructive, but in my opinion, they haven't really finished the job. And here's my proposal on how to fix the Marksman debacle. Increase the bonus back up to 50 points, which is half the total kill points that you get, and the old minimum threshold value for actually obtaining a marksman bonus. And this is to satisfy recon players who do execute an awesome headshot at range. Also, I'd introduce a higher points threshold for players killed via spotting, or the spot bonus, both through gadgets like the motion balls and 3D spotting through scopes. This spotting point increase would only be for the recon class, and only when using a sniper rifle, to signify the reason behind the increase in points. Right now, you get, I think, 25 points for a spot bonus, which isn't too bad, but if that were buffed to 50 points, it'd repay some of the points lost by the marksman bonus not being applied to its full extent. This is just a rough idea that I came up with while I'm on the train the other day, and the reason I think it'd work is because the bonus being increased, the spotting bonus, is one that contributes to the team. You spot an enemy through your sniper scope, someone close by kills them, you get the reward. Oh, that's cool, I get 50 points for that. Awesome, I'll go out and spot a few more people. You're actively helping your team eliminate the enemy team, which is the ultimate point of most game modes in Battlefield. Conquest, you bleed tickets by holding all the flags, but you also reduce the tickets by killing people. In Rush, if you eliminate the enemy team, then you're likely going to win. In Team Deathmatch, that is the whole point, you need to kill the enemy team, and it goes on with every single game mode. So I think this spotting mechanic could work. Now I have of course contemplated that this could be abused a little bit. What's to stop the recon players sitting on a hill, sniping headshots and getting his 50 points for the marksman bonus, and then spotting players and getting another 50 points on top of that. Well, I haven't really thought of an answer to that yet, but maybe it could be something like a distance threshold, so if you spot anybody from over 100 meters away, and then they get the kill, like your teammate runs in and gets a kill, maybe you only get the standard 25 points for a spot bonus, because you're not in like an active distance of that player. If you'd have spotted them and you were inside 10 meters and the rest of your squad were there, he'd be wiped out instantly. But if you're spotting him from 100 meters away, your team have then got to run to where he's been spotted and then kill them. Which is not always helping in certain situations. Like I said, I haven't really thought out how this system could not really be abused, and that's where I thought you guys could come in. Maybe down in the comments today you could drop some suggestions, maybe we could form a proper plan here, and then submit it on the Reddit forum into the CTE and try and show Dice LA a way they could balance this change a little bit better. 
and encourage team play at the same time. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you want to see justice for recons and help them get their points back. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.